Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to create a seamless pattern. So basically it's a texture, all right, for a background, uh, which sometimes we might need for, you know, like as a backdrop for something or for any reason, we might want a pattern, right? Even for textures of, of things, which maybe we'll use with a clipping mask on. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create this pattern. Obviously, as you under would understand with a seamless pattern, uh, all sides need to match. All right. So, um, yeah, we'll be working specifically on that, on making sides matching. Okay. So you would need to create, um, to start with, we're going to start with a file, which is 400 by 400 pixels. Okay. Mine is already here. If you don't, have 400 by 400, you just need to type it here and press create. All right, now uh, for this, I mean to start with, use a very simple brush, all right? Because if you complicate things, it will get even more difficult and I honestly don't really recommend that for starting. Well, I'm going to make a very simple pattern, all right? Let's say I'm going to do this. Okay, this is my pattern let's say okay as you see it's very very simple once again if you complicate this too much you're just going to make your life miserable for no reason and it's not the point of this task okay in this in this tutorial you just need to learn how to do it then you would complicate things later on not not at the moment well uh, i'm going to uh, select all of this, either Control A or with the Marquee tool, copy it, and I'm going to need to create a different, uh, a new document. Okay, this time I needed 400 by 800. Okay, click Create, and you'll notice that now it's longer. It's the size of two on top of each other, and I'm going to paste one here. Uh, what I'm going to do is to make my life a bit easier is I'm going to use guides. All right. Uh, here you have a ruler. Uh, if you don't have the ruler, click on view and click on rulers. Okay. So it shows. Well, once you drag from the ruler, you'll get this line. Place it exactly where it ends. You'll realize why this makes sense uh, in a second. Okay, this will just make your life easier. And press it uh, and put it like exactly where the design ends. Uh, this one I'm going to call it to edit or edit whatever, just so I know which one I'm editing because I'm going to have two layers. Okay, and I'm going to paste another one up here. Make sure it's exactly with here. And that's it, that should do it. All right, Mela, I'm just going to edit, okay, the one which I marked, the one, in this case, I called it edit. All right, you can't edit both. You'll, once again, make your life complicated, which we don't want. We're going to edit only one. Mela, first things first, this doesn't match at all. Okay, so I'm just going to erase part of that. And I'm going to make it match using my brush yeah. let's say huh, something like this it's not amazing but this is not an amazing design in the first place right so like this uh, you'll understand that let me turn this off that this part will match this part right because we edit only on this. If we edit on both, uh, it will be more complicated because this will still not match this. All right. So like this, just by editing this one, uh, both of them match. So this one I can, that one I can delete. And this one, the one which I edited, uh, I'm going to copy it uh, on top. Okay. You can press Alt and that's... If you hold Alt, it will duplicate immediately. Obviously, match it where you had your guide, right? Because otherwise, uh, it will be a whole mess. 
And like this, you see that they match exactly. All right. Voilà. The guide we can remove for now. And this is uh, our, our design at the moment. Voilà. Let's do something. Uh, this, ideally, we merge them. Uh, the reason is so, you know, they're one image and we don't say, you know, we copy it half an image and etc. Well, I'm going to do merge down. Okay. And I'm going to, once again, select all of it and press copy. And I'm going to create a new uh, a image. All right. Well, I'm going to go new, and this time I need it 800 by 800. And I'm going to place this here. Okay, once again, to the side, I'm going to pull a guide. Now you understood why I need it. Voila. Here, I'm going to check that it's exactly where it ends, there. Okay. And I'm going to make another one of this. And you'll see that the sides don't match. I'm going to make sure that it goes well with the guide. All right. There you go. But the sides don't match. All right. And we're going to need to fix those sides. Mela, uh, one of them I'm going to call it edit, just so I know uh, which one I'm editing and which not. In my case, I'm going to be editing this one, right? So again, I'm going to go with the eraser, remove the part that doesn't match. I'm going to do both, okay? They're going to be not exactly the same as each other, but it's going to be part of the design. It, it doesn't matter. And let's say I'm going to start like, so we'll need to fix that a bit, obviously, as you can notice. Now let's go with the eraser and remove this sort of bulb. Sorry, wrong tool. Okay. And okay, that matches. Let's do this one. Okay, we can we can do it. Like a bit different. I'm noticing that I left the part here already. But say this one is like this. Okay, I did it differently on purpose, just to play around basically. I'm going to remove this extra to make it look as as if it's one line. Okay, and I need to add it this part is so uh, i'm not you'll notice that i'm not obsessing about this okay okay let's say this is my design well what i would need to do once again is i'm going to layer one okay which is this one i'm going to delete it because this one is the one which doesn't have the matching sides okay and i would need this one now this one if like I said, if you're on the move tool and you hold alt, you would be duplicating. I'm holding the shift so it doesn't move around. Once again, match it with that guide. All right? And like this, it should match exactly. Let's remove the guide to see what we've done. All right? So view clear guides and you'll notice, okay, you have this pattern which will match on each side. This is uh, what you would probably be thinking is okay now now what to do with it you know okay great i have a tile basically so let's save it first all right well uh, let's save it huh? it doesn't matter i can save it as as jpeg and i can call it seamless tile all right well, okay Mala, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open seamless style. So it's JPEG because this is still PSD and I save this JPEG. 
let's work with that one. So open find the one you made, which is seamless style. It's here. Open. All right. And we're going to define it as pattern. Um, when we did the custom brush, we did define as brush preset, right? This is a similar thing. But this time we're instructing uh, Photoshop to read this as a pattern. So we're going to go on edit. No, sorry, let's select it. Well, edit. And I'm going to say define pattern. And we need to give it uh, a name. Let, I'm going to call it seamless style. It doesn't matter. And press OK. So now Photoshop knows that this is a pattern. This is a pattern that it's reading and it's storing as a pattern. All right. So let's create a new uh, file just so we can test this pattern. OK. Um, uh, let's create an A4 file. Huh. OK. I'm going to add a new layer. Um, that layer we're going to use for this pattern. So when you double click uh, on the icon, you're going to get this. All right. Um, go on pattern overlay. Uh, and here I'm going to choose pattern. And here you'll find the, the one we made. I would need to remove these. Press OK. And that's it. OK, just to recap, because I don't know if that was really clear. Well, I would need to go and make a new layer. Double click on it. All right. Uh, go on Pattern Overlay. To, from here, Pattern, choose the pattern that you made, which is that one in my case. All right, uh, in blending options, you need to remove all of these, okay? Blend clipped will be written transparency as well. If you don't remove these, uh, it won't show, unfortunately. So just press OK, and that's it. You have your seamless pattern uh, as a whole texture. All right, so once again, like, try this out. Don't overcomplicate in the beginning, but Technically, you can apply this to anything to create uh, textures which are always matching. Okay.